Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to be talking a bit about relaxing your throat and eliminating vocal fry. Now if you haven't already watched the previous video on the topic of breath support, I highly recommend you do so because to be frank, a lot of that video is actually going to be resolving a lot of the problems that we're having here, especially the last exercise introduced in that video. But there's a few more things I want to talk about for the matter of having vocal tension in particular and if you are having an issue with vocal fry. So let's introduce those ideas right now. So for vocal tension, usually what we're talking about is somebody who is stuck in their throat, so to speak. Uh, if I can give an example, it's something like this. My, my resonance is way back in the throat and even this is basically about as, as loud as I can talk because I have so much tension back here. I am clamping down on my throat, all right? You really don't want to be talking like that. You're never going to give a good speech. No one's going to find that attractive or charismatic at all. So how do you resolve that? Well, primarily it's a matter of speaking into what we call the mask. The mask is, if you think of your face and you think of these, these muscles right here, your, your cheekbones, that's, it's basically where we think about having the resonance of our voice. When we're stuck back in our throat back here, the resonance is basically back here. It's actually not resonating at all. But when we are speaking with a proper frontal tone, what's happening is our voice is resonating in our chest, our voice is resonating in our head, and it's acting as a sort of amplifier, and it also produces a more pleasant and warm-sounding vo voice than... Uh, than if we weren't doing that at all. So, in order to get this, there, there's a few different approaches. It, I found it varies, like, what approach works best for different people. But here's the first way I would suggest exploring it. Try going into an excessively nasal resonance. And the way I would recommend you do that is by doing what's called a nya. Nya, nya, nya. All right, you're making yes yeah sounds, and you should feel literal vibrations inside of your nose. So, like, if I were to try to do the same thing while holding my nose, I'm incapable of doing it because the resonance is so far up in the nose. Now, I want to be really clear here. Our long-term goal is not to be speaking with a nasal resonance. I have an entire video I'm going to make that's all about getting out of nasal resonance. However, as an intermediate step, between being stuck in our throat all the way back here and uh, being out front inside of our mask where we want to be, it is a suitable step because you cannot be speaking inside of this nasal resonance here while also being tight back in your throat. So I would experiment with that. And another thing I would experiment with is from our previous video, we did that breathiness doing the sigh thing. Once you have a sigh worked out pretty well on how to do a, a fully resonant ha sort of thing, experiment with actually talking with a similar feeling for that. Go ahead and grab a copy of Hamlet or whatever your favorite book that has actual monologues or dialogues inside of it that you would enjoy reading. And just try reading it while having that same sort of sensation of resonance and volume. Because if you are able to have a sigh in that sort of resonance, you should be in the exact sort of placement necessary to be out of the back of your throat for the sake of uh, speaking as well. So you are trying to imitate the feeling that you have with the sigh while you are actually speaking verbal words, okay? So first, I would recommend trying the imitating the sigh sensation while actually reading something. And if that doesn't work, try exploring the nyes because the nyes uh, aren't the ideal approach to doing this, but they will help you out in the long run if this is a problem. All right, so other thing we want to explore, fry tone. Fry tone is what happens when you are speaking in the very bottom register of your voice or you aren't speaking with enough breath support. Basically, it's, it's something like this. It's, it's that gravelly, low sound. Not particularly pleasant. And there's a whole bunch of research out there that has demonstrated that if you're speaking with that sort of tonality, people are going to take you less seriously. You're not going to come across as confident. It's, it's generally bad. It's also really difficult to project with that sort of thing. Now, uh, 
basically all there is to that is uh, you need to speak at a higher pitch and you need to speak with more support. Now, I know there's a bunch of people out there who are going to be worried, like, oh, I have a really high speaking voice. I'm worried about not coming across uh, masculine enough or uh, authoritative enough or something like that. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. It's not that big a deal. And there are better ways to do it than speaking in your fry tone, I can promise you. So practice speaking with better support and simply practice speaking at a higher pitch in your voice. And if you continue the sighing exercise from the previous video, I think you're going to find that these problems are eliminated naturally. Uh, but if they aren't, give them a little bit more attention when you're practicing this video, and that should be all that is necessary. And if that doesn't help you out, please feel free to reach out to me and we can talk about it some more. Anyway, good luck. Let's move on to the next one.